Hello everyone and welcome back to Yin Yoga for our Meridians. This is the last of our series of 12 different episodes of our Yin Yoga Meridian series. And today is for the Triple Burner Meridian. That's our targeting Meridian for the poses today. And the Triple Burner Meridian is responsible for and helps us to regulate it's not responsible but it regulates our metabolism for us and when it's not balanced it can cause dysfunction in appetite so i think it's a great one to balance and we will do it with a couple of forward bends and a few shoulder openers because it runs on the back of the spine and it runs from the back of the shoulder blade, around the neck, out the arm, elbow, wrist, and out the uh, front of the palm. And it also goes on the side of the neck. So we're going to um, target that. And let's start to just by take a comfortable seat. Maybe we're sitting on something comfortable, like I have a pillow that I like to sit on to have my pelvis kind of tilted forward so I feel a little bit more upright. Maybe that works for you too. Let's take the hands down to the ground, to your mat, and we'll start with five nice deep ujjayi breaths or any form of breaths that feels nice and deep for you, that moves the energy through the whole body, but especially in the upper body and out through the shoulders and arms where all these upper body meridian runs. So let's turn the palms out and inhale, bring it all the way up and exhale take it back down and we'll just start by moving energy through the body through the shoulders and through the arms the wrists inhale nice big breath and exhale grow nice and tall we'll do two more times inhale bring it all the way up and exhale take it all the way back down for one more time take a nice big breath in and exhale take it all the way back out and our first pose is going to be straddle pose for the legs or you could sit just like this and lean forward but if you wanted to you can take your legs out to a comfortable place you might have a block or a pillow or something next to you I'll have a block for my forearms and I'm simply going to just lean forward and get into that whole back body to the shoulders, to the back of the neck, shoulder blade area, and just be right here and getting a nice also stretch in towards the legs. So you might have your block, you might have your forearms to the floor, you might have your hands to the floor. Take it to where it's comfortable for you within a nice edge of a level three to four on a scale up to 10. So, but just go find where it's comfortable, move about until you find a good place and then keep it as still as you can for the next 15 breaths or so. Where we're just letting the back body fully open up and relax. Shoulders are heavy. Just kind of loosening up from the seat and up the whole spine up to the neck, up to the shoulder blades. Letting the breath be heavy. Softening, relaxing all the muscles and letting the pose target the meridian. that helps us regulate our metabolism.
softening in towards the seat, in towards the base of the spine, and opening up the pathway from the base of the spine up to the neck, to the shoulder. Another five breaths here. slowly making your way up and come to upright seat and bring your legs to the midline you're going to come into eagle arms and with an option to take eagle legs if you wanted to you can sit cross-legged like this and the arms comes here together there might be a stretch like this to target into the upper back and in towards the shoulder blades or it might be that you take your right leg over your left and make your way comfortable onto a maybe a pillow. Maybe you sit straight down, maybe you have your block and legs out to the side. And from there, taking your right arm underneath the left and finding your eagle arms and getting a nice big wide broadening into the upper back. And then just sitting, just enjoying. If there is a, if there is an opportunity and it feels comfortable, you are welcome to lean forward and kind of come into that nesty eagle pose where we just relax forward. It will be definitely a whole different feeling of expansion in the back body, opening up the pathways for the triple burner meridian. Moving the chi around. I'm staying here for about 10 breaths for each side. We can stay for another five. Sitting nice and heavy. Hitting the spots in the upper back. And slowly coming back up and releasing the arms, take, take them up towards the ceiling. Just get a nice big stretch and a little movement for some blood moving through the shoulders and elbows. Switch to the second side. If you had your legs crossed, maybe switch your ankles so one is in front of the other. If you have eagle legs, then um, switch your legs to... Um, the left over the right <clears throat> and then from there we'll take the um the left underneath the right switch arms switch legs and switch arms and come into eagle arms 
and we can sit upright like this this is perfect i mean it is a lot of feeling in the back and if but if you feel like leaning forward you might put a pillow in between or something so that you feel like you have support and we're just going to stay here enjoying an upper back opening shoulder blades it really hits the, the good spot for the triple burner between the shoulder blade and the neck and just relaxing into the pose Sitting nice and heavy on your sit bones. Stay here for another five breaths or so. And slowly making your way back up and releasing the arms and take another big inhale moving the flow in the arms and exhale hands down to the side and undo the legs and from here we're going to come into bow tie with our arms crossed underneath us I like to have a pillow for my forehead it's more comfortable for my neck that way. So see what you feel about it. We're gonna take the right arm under and the left arm comes over and then we're gonna just walk the arms out and come down onto the belly and flip the palms up to the sky, crossing kind of right by the neck, just like that bow tie. Um, and then just relaxing the legs and finding a good spot, putting the forehead onto something that feels comfortable and getting that pressure on the shoulders kind of have to move about to find a comfortable spot to be Since this is also pretty intense for the shoulders and the upper arm bones, we have about 10 breaths for each side. Another three breaths here.
and slowly making your way out of it just kind of finagling to get yourself over to the second side by taking your left underneath the right and then switching sides and coming back down for bow tie on the second side moving about so it's comfortable Really opening up into the tight spaces between your shoulder blades. And enjoying just laying passively, getting a shoulder stretch, neck stretch. Another three breaths here. Slowly making your way out from this bow tie pose, taking any props to the side, come up to all fours, just give yourself a little stretch into that space between the shoulder blades and hollowing back down and coming into child's pose. So we're going to take big toes together knees apart if you prefer to have knees together if that feels better that's great whichever works for you i like to take my knees further apart and get a nice big wide hip opening at the same time and we're going to just take the arms out bend the elbows to the side and get into the side of the neck so turn your head one way and enjoy a neck stretch with your child's pose where we expand into the back body Get some pressure, target some pressure points on our triple burner meridian. Helps us to regulate metabolism, helps us to regulate appetite. Letting the breath be heavy, letting the arms relax, fingers relax. We'll take another three breaths. And 
and switch your head to the second side. And we'll take the next stretch on the opposite side. Popping the burnt edge if needed, noticing the difference. Relaxing, letting the muscles be heavy. Three more breaths. And slowly make your way up and come and take a comfortable seat. We are going to add a neck stretch to this to get into all those midi um, spaces where it runs on the neck and on the side of the head. So let's take a comfortable seat and drop your head to one side that feels natural to you, the one that volunteers, and sit just like this. Or you can take your hand and help it, just a slight pressure and relaxing in the shoulder, relaxing in the palm that's underneath. You can even turn that palm up and then there's like less helping out on that side. And there's more receiving. So we're just sitting here, letting the chi, the energy flow through the neck in a nice gentle way. There's no pulling or pressing on the head. It's just like a little gentle weight. Just take another five breaths. And then from here, release your hand if you have it around the head. 
Take it on the side and help gently your head up to an upright position and then we'll switch to the second side. Open the neck to the side, the ear to the shoulder, shoulders away from the ears at the same time. And maybe we'll sit like this and enjoy your neck stretch. Maybe we'll volunteer the right arm around the head with the left palm up. So that we are as passive as we can sitting here. Helping to open the pathways of the triple burner meridian that helps us with metabolism. I'm going to make sure the chi flows evenly. Stay for another five breaths here. And releasing the right hand and gently starting it to the side of the head and helping your head upright. And then release the hands to the sides and we'll take five nice big inhales and exhale to flow the energy through the spine, shoulders, the whole backside arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Inhale and exhale and we'll take one more. Bring it all the way up and exhale and let's lay down together for a three minute shavasana to let everything integrate. You might have a pillow, you might lay flat. I'm gonna lay flat on my back thing and take the arms out to the side. Press the head, adjust the shoulder blades. And letting the poses that we did integrate to the layers where they need to go for an easy and healthy flow of the triple burner meridian that works and flows together and opposite with the pericardium meridian. And we just take gentle breaths into that, being as passive as we can so we are receptive and open to the flow in the, on the inner layers of the body.
five more breaths here together. And many toes and fingers, circling ankles and wrists, arms over the head, and bending the knees in, coming over to the side, and coming up to a comfortable seat, and turn the palms up. We're going to just take a little moment to close our practice together, sitting nice and tall. Nice clear spine, a healthy flow of energy up and down and from the center and out and from the outside and into the center. Take our palms together in front of the heart and join our voices in an OM to close this yin yoga practice. Take a nice big inhale. Oh. And thank you so much everyone to join me for this journey of yin yoga for meridians. And I am so happy that we can do it together here on YouTube and in our virtual classroom together. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I hope that you, some of you might wanna combine it with a basic yoga that I call basic yoga yang, um, just because they kinda go hand in hand with what we have done in these yin yoga classes. So go check them out too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next class. And I believe there is a subscription button like right here somewhere. And here's like the next video, I think right there, if you like to click along. And have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Namaste.